What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, M Money. Any Chris Mako fans out there? Today, I want to talk about my Achilles tendon. All right, well, I'm at the trailhead and I'm gonna do a hike today. Haven't run in a while or actually hiked either um, just because of an issue I've been dealing with. All right, well, I'm out here uh, hiking mostly, but doing a little bit of running, a little bit of trotting, sort of. I'm at like 15, 25 pace and this is pretty steep uphill. So there is a little bit of running happening, but I have not run or hiked in two weeks, and even then, two weeks ago, only ran like three miles, and then Achilles was super swollen the next day, and uh, took two weeks off after that, so. All right, so when I first started running ultra marathons about three years ago, three, yeah, I guess, something like that, more like two, I guess, um, I got this bl these blisters on the back of my heels and kind of ignore them because in my opinion if if your worst injury is a blister like you're you're in pretty good shape it's literally a flesh wound so I ignored them and eventually they turned into these like calcified bumps that were just totally permanent but never caused any pain or anything like that um, but they eventually got a little bit bigger. Eventually they did turn into these like big ugly bumps um, on my heel where the Achilles attaches to the heel. But still, it never hurt in training. The only time I'd have pain there is if I did like some sort of ultra or a really, really long hilly training run. So for example, after the Kuyumaka 100K, where I qualified for Western States, I had this, you know, they, they both got really swollen and painful, which was normal for me. And, you know, so bad that the day after I could barely walk, like I couldn't toe off at all, couldn't push off with my toes. But they'd always heal like ridiculously fast. Like the day after, or two days after I should say, I'd be able to walk fine within like three days, it was like gone. Like no pain or anything. I mean, the bumps were still there, but the pain was totally gone. I was, I could run. In fact, six days after Kuyumaka, I almost set an 8K PR at a cross country race, missed it by like 10 seconds. Um, so yeah, so they only become problems when I go really far and I could always just remedy that by taking a couple days off. But, with the world's worst timing ever, with Western States approaching, my left one, for some reason, has decided to become a permanent problem. So, even just basic runs, it would swell up and be painful. Um, and I ignored that for a long time until it got to the point where I was just like, yeah, I can't really ignore this anymore. And it does kind of warm up a little bit. Like, I'm not worried about Western States injury-wise because I think once I get going, uh, it'll be okay for at least a little while. I mean, once I get deep into the miles, I'll probably start to, to feel it. So the good news to this story is, even though I've barely been running in the last few weeks, I have been staying in really, really good aerobic shape. I've been doing a lot of cross training and I'm really fit right now just a little worried about how my legs are gonna hold up doing 100 miles, which seems like, that seems fair. But uh, still totally set on being in squaw and running all the way to Auburn. It's just dealing with this stupid injury, which, you know, even after two weeks, like, I still feel it. I'm hoping that the PT I'm doing will allow me to, um, run through it without it getting worse. So that's what's happening right now.
All right, done. So that was an hour and 45 minutes and six miles. So not much, but that was my first like, you know, exercise by foot, um, foot travel in like a couple weeks. So I'll take it. Not too bad. I have to really roll out my calves when I get back and, and do all those things. Uh, the priority of my training, but, um, thanks for watching. I'm sorry. This wasn't very exciting. I just thought I'd thought I needed to update everybody on what's been going on. So Western State's still very much in the plan. Training definitely hasn't been um, ideal. It hasn't been like, you know, what, what you imagine or hope for, but it is what it is. And I'm still confident in my ability to run from Squaw Valley to Auburn in June. So that's still happening. And uh, yeah, thanks for uh, following along. I'm really excited.